Season Pass, sponsored by City National Bank, starts now. Welcome to Season Pass. I'm your host, Sabrina Hoover. Well, football season has now arrived, and I am so excited to be able to share with y'all all the results and highlights from week one of the high school football season. So let's dive into the next 30 minutes. Well, we start with the Central Bobcats, who finished the 2022 season with a 5-6 and six overall record that would make the playoffs for the 13th straight year, looking to add more history. Friday night, the Bobcats looked to get some revenge on the Wolves, who defeated Central last year. A young squad for third year head coach Kevin Crane, but the expectations were high ahead of their matchup. They're certainly athletic and talented and uh, always, always uh, a very good game for us. You know, when we play those guys and we're, we're glad that uh, we're playing them at home this year. It's a good football game for us and, and overall we're just excited to get out there and play. Both of these guys are, are talented young men and, you know, they're both capable of, of playing. They're both capable of leading our team and uh, I feel good about either one of them, you know, and so uh, that's a unique situation to be in. Well, the Bobcats hosting a ranked Colleen Shoemaker team looking for a different result this year. Early first quarter, Shoemaker with possession. QB tries to make the handoff, and the ball is loose. Picked up by Corlin Wakala right around midfield, and he is off to the races. The big fella showing off his speed. He scores the first touchdown of the season for Central. Central now trailing 14-7 still in the first quarter. Christian English with the handoff to Javion Robinson. Gets to the goal line hit, then pushed into the end zone to, this, to tie this one up at 14. Second quarter, Central trailing 20-14 to 14 now. English sitting in the pocket, hits Tyree Brawley out in the flat, hit as he is met in the end zone, but that ties it up right before half. A back-and-forth game all night. However, Central falls 34-27, and they will travel to El Paso next week. And moving to 4A, the Lakeview Chiefs, they would finish the 2022 season 3-7 and seven overall and 0-4 in the toughest district in Region 1 following realignment last year. A tough year for the Chiefs as they saw their four-year streak in making the playoffs come to an end, but head coach Hector Guevara explained the game plan against their tornadoes leading up to Friday night. They show up to work and every every week they, they come up with a new word. You know, this week is energy and, and they, they come to us and tell us, hey, coach of the word of the week is energy. So, you know, so we, we feed off of that and we remind them of what they're bringing to the table. And, it, you know, a lot, a lot of it comes ownership of themselves, you know, so we want them to take charge. They do a good job running the ball. So we've got to make sure that we can slow them down defensively and hopefully, you know, maybe cause some turno turnovers here and there and just you know, just like I said earlier, just got to stay, stay sound. Well, Friday night created a new slate for the team. The Lakeview Chiefs picked up their first victory of the 2023 season, a 49-8 victory over La Mesa. The Chiefs put up 49 points, five points more than their victory last year over the Tornadoes at home. Now the Chiefs look towards Sweetwater at home next Friday to, con to continue their momentum under seventh-year head coach Hector Guevara. And a six-ranked Wallhawks starting the season against Eastland at home. The saying is defense wins championships, and that's exactly what we have here. Ryan Allen climbs the ladder to get the Hawks' first takeaway of the season. Score 0-0. Zero, zero. Public service announcement, Ryan Allen had himself a day. Catches his 50-yard bomb laid out nice by Gunnar Dillard for the Wallhawk touchdown. Hawks lead 7-0 in the first. Hagen Barbie once in on the action, takes the pitch, tells the defense you're too slow, outruns the Maverick defense to the pie line for the second touchdown of the game. First and goal from the one, don't mind if I do. Gunnar Dillard puts his head down, drives his feet, and he is in for another Wallhawk touchdown in the first half. Hawks defeat Eastland in their season opener 35-10. And moving to the Brady Bulldogs, a team that finished 2022 with a 5-6 overall record, 3-2 in District 2, 3A Division 2. Good enough for a third-place finish to make the playoffs for the fourth straight season. Well, a new season, new results, and new head coach. The Bulldogs would fall in their season opener to Comanche 37-8. Not what the Bulldogs wanted to, wanted to see, but they look towards their next opponent, the Mason Punchers and Mason next Friday. And the Grape Creek Eagles are coming off a tough 2022 season where they would finish 0-10 overall and 0-5 in district play. Friday night was a chance for the team to get off on the right foot. Stanton traveling to Eagles Stadium, but not the result they wanted. The Buffaloes defeated them 42-6 the final. The Eagles will travel to Cougars territory next Friday when they face Cristobal. 
Coming up next on Season Pass, we take a look at our game of the week, TLCA San Angelo versus Ozona. Stick around.